Welcome back. We've interviewed a lot of business owners during our time on air, but we have to say our next guest may take the prize for creating the most unique product. The other Danish guy is the world's first eco-friendly underwear made of the material salvaged from old fishing nets pulled from the ocean. Do you have a lot of questions? Because so do we. So we welcome via Skype all the way from Finland, the founder of the other Danish guy, Tommy Lade. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Welcome. This is so. Also, this is his first appearance on American TV, so it's even a little more exciting Yay! for everyone. Very cool. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, so hey, tell me the most obvious question: Why did you want the underwear to be eco-friendly? Yeah, actually, two reasons for that. Because um, we are running out of the resources on, on Earth, and um, I'm not kind of an eco-friendly type, so typical one. But uh, so. Uh, I'm very worried about seas and, uh, and healthy oceans. And um, uh, when, when we started this business, to run this business, um, we, we um, searched for material that would be uh, eco-friendly and sustainable. So, and, um, so we ended up with the fishing nets, discarded fishing, fishing nets uh, material. So then what about the name, the other Danish guy? Is this like a nickname that your friends call you or something? Where did the name come from? No, actually, it, it's a funny story. And, and to make it short, so we, we, were, in a, we were on a business trip in New York uh, a couple of years ago with my colleague, my ex-colleague. And uh, uh, um, I don't know if it's, it's a family program, but, but his uh, uh, ass shaved uh, during an early morning run in, in Central Park. So um, after lots of lotions and creams, uh, later he ended up uh, to soothe his wounds uh, in the, in a bar in Wall Street in ladies' room and get caught there. And uh, the barmaid then shouted after the mayhem uh, appeared that yeah the other Danish guy is having some, having some problems there. So basically. There's a there's a longer story in 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 our on our website theotherdanishguy.com. So if you can if you will you can watch the whole story there. It sounds like it's it's you gave us the nutshell version and I feel like there's a lot more to the story that you can't say for sure. <laughs> it's very creative though. Yeah, I am really interested to know, Tommy, wh what is the process for you guys making these? I mean, if they're made out of fishing net, now what type of fish are you catching with these underwear? <laughs> 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 Frankly speaking, I have no idea. So <laughs> I only thought that the, the the process is very complex, obviously, and uh, the, um, there's an Italian company which is gathering that all that garbage from the oceans, and uh, during their process, it uh, they turn this uh, regenerated nylon into very fine yarn and uh, after that we need that uh, in the fabrics and, and use that um, we are the first ones to use that in in, uh, in underwear it's obviously I mean eco-friendly obviously makes sense because if the fishing line gets you know gets stuck in the water then it's getting stuck on you know other other sea life so it's a really great eco-friendly idea but we understand that the company got started through crowdfunding so tell us why you decided to use that process uh, we we've been operating like one year in Europe now and uh, after the great feedback we've got here so we decided to enter the u.s market because it's very interesting it's it's huge and uh then uh, uh to find a way as a startup uh to to enter the u.s market uh we need either lots of money or or a good idea and we chose the latter one so we we uh searched some uh, some crowdfunding uh, platforms and then decided to use Indiegogo and started the Indiegogo campaign on um, on in June. June so on that went well. Yeah. It was June, you started in June of this year? Yeah, this year, two months ago, actually, oh, quite wow. exactly two months ago. Wow, very cool. So do you make a variety of sizes and styles? How does that work? Sorry? Do you make a variety of sizes and styles? 
Yeah, we have. You have uh, uh, currently have, we have two styles for men and two for women, and uh, uh, some so different colors. So and then, um, yeah, and we but we we're, we're gonna go. No, we're gonna be the the uh, uh, ultimate first layer brand in the world. So we're gonna stick on first layer and create some more styles and 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 um, models for 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 first layer underwear. Well, Tommy, let me ask a question about you talk about eco-friendly a lot in in what in your presentation. So, what exactly does eco-friendly mean? Does that just mean that how you've developed it is eco-friendly, or does that mean that it's eco-friendly? Maybe it disintegrates uh, the landfill if you throw it away. Does that mean that it lasts longer? Does it not last as long? What does that really mean? Actually, it means all that. So, so I hate throwawayism. And uh, the kind of fast fashion is, is very detrimental to the environment. And uh, also people should pay attention, more attention to, to what they wear. So even if it's, it would be a little bit more expensive, so they just use material which lasts longer and uh, is obviously so, so sustainable. So. And uh, uh, we, in in clothing, we need to use cotton, which is not very eco-friendly. Actually, it's, it it takes uh, something like eleven thousand liters of water to produce one kilogram of cotton. So it, it's not. So we we need to rethink the whole whole business, whole in industry. I like that you mentioned fast fashion. It's it's this is definitely. Something that we that a lot more people are asking in their in their in their popular brands is being a little more eco friendly, and I mean that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. But where can we get these underwear? Because they're bright, fun colors with the stitching and everything. So if someone here in the U.S. wanted to buy a pair, where would they go? So uh, the other day in sky .com, That's the, the easiest, fastest, and uh, the most convenient way to buy these. Uh, we're gonna open uh, the new. Uh, a website in, in US, uh, but at, currently we have this uh, www.theotherdaynesky.com. So should go there and, and get as much as, as as possible. Well, perfect. Well, thank you very much, and, and good luck with this very creative, yes. very necessary, environmentally friendly brand. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Tommy. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the. Okay. Bye. Bye. And if you'd like to find out more about The Other Danish Guy or to make an order for your own pair of eco-friendly underwear, just visit theotherdanishguy.com. And coming up next, eating, drinking, and dancing while raising money for a great cause. Obviously.